My Aussie wife always brings in Maladorous flowers that smell like pungent death. Her and my stepdaughter love the smell. Jonquils, a type of Narcissus flower, are known for their strong, sometimes unpleasant scent, which some people describe as chemical or musky. I started to wonder if there was a scientific reason behind my aversion. Maybe a chemical compound in the flowers was triggering my reaction. My hunch was that the smell I detected was chemically similar to that of feces, which would explain why I found it so repulsive. Curious, I dug into the etymology and chemistry behind what I was smelling. That's when I discovered something fascinating. This odor is primarily due to a mix of volatile organic compounds, including indole and skatole. Both indole and skatole are naturally occurring compounds found in many flowers, but they are also present in feces, where they contribute to its characteristic odor. At this point, I intuited that skatole is probably the origin of why we call feces scat. I told them to watch how I work. I bet them I'm 100% correct, exactly as always. The name skatole comes from the Greek skatos, meaning dung or feces. The English word scat, used for animal droppings, shares the same Greek root. So, my intuition was 100% right again. The connection between the scent of some flowers and feces isn't just in my head, but in their shared chemistry and etymology. Here's how the etymologies line up. Scat, from the Greek score skatos, meaning dung or feces. In English, it refers to animal droppings or excrement. Skatol, from the Greek skatos, plus the chemical suffix ol, meaning a fecal chemical compound. While the concentration and combination of these compounds differ between jonquils and feces, there is a chemical overlap. At low concentrations, indole and skatol can smell floral or sweet, but at higher concentrations, they produce a fecal or unpleasant smell. This is why some people may perceive jonquils as having an odor reminiscent of feces, although the overall scent profile of the flower is usually more complex and includes other floral and green notes. But you can't deny that I've proven there's a brown note there too. So, while my wife and her daughter may still think I'm exaggerating, science and language are on my side, and I showed them my creative and psychic powers. Sometimes, trusting your senses and following a hunch can lead to some pretty interesting truths hiding in plain and pungent sight. Lifting the Veil Official is now on all social media. Full video presentations and articles can be found at Lifting the Veil TV for full esoteric films, research articles, live streams, lessons, and mind-blowing content on theology, mythology, etymology and language, symbolism, science, biology, health, and so much more. See you soon. Much love peace and wisdom.